Next, we'll bring up Coach Tate from the Grizzlies, uh, P.K. Lowe, Caleb Foster, and Mel Lopez. I think I pronounced that right. Right. Okay. I'll get you another chair. There you go. Oh, we'll spread these out a little. All right, I'm uh, Coach Chad Tate. Uh, this will be my second year uh, as head coach at Granger High School. Uh, this will be my 13th year overall uh, co coaching football, uh, all those years at, at Rutledge and Granger. So uh, <clears throat> it's been a, uh, I'd say we've got the most turnover uh, as far as any school in the conference. Uh, you know, you're not gonna see a lot of familiar faces on the field for us this season through graduation, through decisions by other players. So, uh, but, uh, you know, that, that's created uh, the guys that are here. We, we kind of got a little chip on our shoulder about some things. So, uh, guys have worked uh, tremendously uh, hard in the weight room uh, through the winter, uh, also continuing all the way up until, until, until yesterday. So we're, we're working hard in the weight room to try to become a stronger, more physical football team. But uh, the effort and attitude has been great. Uh, it's had to take some baby steps as far as, you know, what, what we're doing offensively and defensively. But uh, effort and attitude has been great. Uh, it's a great group to coach. Uh, enjoy practice with them every day for sure. Uh, went to Cherokee Thursday night. Uh, saw some good things. Made a lot of improvements uh, from the spring, definitely. Uh, as far as scheme, we're, we're going to stay in our 3-4 on defense. Uh, probably going to be a little bit more aggressive in that um, than, than we've been in the past. Um, offensively, <clears throat> uh, we're going to uh, we're going to go to a uh, spread option. We we've kind of uh, tr traded out there a little bit, uh, so we're going to try to run some 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 option, some triple option. Um, get get more where we need to be at Granger High School. Uh, try to get downhill and uh, be more physical. So. Uh, implement a little bit of no huddle with that as well. So, uh, so a little bit of new look on offense for us in 2014. Ted, of course, you, you talked about the, the, the uh, amount of turnover you had, especially your quarterback, and I know a bunch of you know, your leading rusher as well as one of your better defense players. Both those guys go on and play college uh, football this fall. Um, I guess the big question is, who's going to be well, that's a good question. That's one we'd like to get answered too. Now, that's a big one for us. Uh, right now, we're we're we're, at a th we're really in a three-man race. Uh, I know that sounds crazy, but that's kind of where we're at. Um, uh, and possibly could throw a fourth guy in there. We got a freshman that's a pretty good player. We're just bringing him on slowly. Uh, athletically, he's probably the best of the three. But uh, right now, we've got uh, Dane Farrow, who's a junior. Bryce McBee, who's a sophomore, and, and Jake Phillips, a sophomore. Those three guys, uh, not, not a whole lot of difference between e any of them. They don't throw it real well, which is probably good for us at Granger. We don't really need to be throwing the football too much. Um, so, uh, you know, the guy that doesn't turn it over is probably going to be the guy we go with. With the change in the offensive scheme this season, could it I hope not. I hope we can use one, but somebody's going to have to win that job. Uh, you talk about a lot of changes. I, I look at the roster and you talk about throwing the ball. Um, offensive line wise, um, you have uh, two of your offensive linemen here today. If you would have to look at the upperclassmen in that group, could that be one of your strong fronts for the new quarterbacks in the system and these new running backs? Yeah, I think that probably is a strength for us. Uh, Nettle, who's here with us, he's our only returning starter on the entire offense. So, uh, but but he, he does a great job. He brings some experience for us there. And uh, but we we've got five seniors uh, up front, and uh, Nettle returns on offense. The other four played defense for us a little bit last year. Uh, they're a hungry group, you know. As a coach, sometimes when you get a group like that that's not played a whole lot, they're they're hungry and. And those five seniors really are probably 
the strength of us as far as our offense goes right now. Uh, Nettle. It's N E T T L E. N E T T L E. Yes. Lopez. L O P E Z. Are you the uh, the lone starter? I'm starting on the offense. Yeah. How are your shoulders feeling right now? <laughs> Does uh, it feel like that you're you're going to have to. Shoulders feeling pretty good right now. I mean, sometimes it gives me trouble. Sometimes it doesn't. It's on and off. How much pressure do you feel as far as being a leader for it as being the returning offensive starter? Well, I got voted captain this year, and uh, I've been been picking up the pace, trying to be a leader, trying to lead the way for everybody, just trying to be a um, good teammate to everybody. Uh, I've got uh, P.K. Lowe, outside linebacker, running back, and Caleb Foster, offensive line, defensive line. BK's a running back? Yes. BK, obviously, you know, with, uh, with Noah being gone next year, uh, Granger's looking for somebody to kind of step up and, and, uh, and fill that gap. Do you think that's your, kind of one of your um, folks, folks is going into the season? Yeah, I'd, I'd really like to have a part in that. You know, we've got we've got about two or three of us that are probably get a good rotation going. You know, we're all about the same. Um, you know, I, I like the new offense that we're running, and I think that uh, you know, I, I definitely like to play play a role in that. Uh, left guard. They've talked about there's going to be a lot of, of uh, new faces um, this year for Granger, both sides of the ball. What are you seeing so far as far as um, you know, what, what the potential that you see going into the season? Uh, I think we have a lot of potential. Like Coach said, we're, uh, we don't have a lot of experience, and that's why we're a hungry group. You know, We, we want to get out there and get our time that we've played and waited for for three, two, two years, two, three years. And we're just, we're ready for it. Uh, questions for PK. Um, the three, <coughs> the three, four defense coach Tate talked about, what, what's some of the things you being an outside linebacker, what's some of the things that you guys are going to focus on? Not, you know, not a lot of teams focus on that three, four, but you know, it's, it's a very unique defense, I should say, in itself. Mm -hmm. What's some things that uh, you looked at in this defensive scheme that you think will help you guys running it? Well, uh, you know, this year, like you said, we're going to be a little more aggressive on defense. You know, we're, we're bringing more people to the ball. Um, so, we're, I mean, that's, <laughs> that's bring more people to the ball, you know, a lot more blitzing and stuff, more stunts. Going into, uh, Coach talked about an option style of offense, being a running back, uh, you know, you're going to get a lot of chances to carry the football. What's some things that you guys in your running back camp, I should say, what's some things you guys have been your most motto going through this spring and this summer leading into that first game against Union? Uh, hit the whole 100 miles an hour. Just, you know, don't stop, don't be hesitant, just hit it and go. With not many returners coming back for Granger, how do you get that to you? People that don't maybe didn't start last year, how do you get them to build off the success of making a playoff game last year? Yeah, yeah, that was good good for us. We've been in the playoffs back to back years. Uh, so we won't make that three in a row for sure. Uh, but, uh, you know, we, we had a lot of good guys last year, a lot of good leaders. Um, but uh, this group's kind of, they, they, they took an ownership of the football team. And, and like I said, through the winter in the weight room and, and then through spring and the summer, I mean, they, they, they've got a closeness about them. Uh, you know, that, that's what you want as a coach. Uh, you can really see them, uh, you know, coaching each other at practice and, and, and really bringing on the young guys. Uh, which we're going to have to play a lot of sophomores, uh, unfortunately for us, but that's just the way it is. And, and, and we're going to roll them out there, and they're going to have to play. So, But these older guys have done a great job as far as being leaders. Question for the linemen. Uh, has it been difficult this spring and summer running the no puddle, running the offense, not knowing exactly who your starting quarterback would be? Um. Yeah, it's a, it's a big transition from last year because, I mean, this year is just a downhill offense. I mean, as fast as you can go. So it, it was a challenge at first, but I think we're all starting to get the hang of it and it's starting to come more naturally now. Chad, you always play a, a very challenging out of conference schedule, obviously. Good teams in, in uh, Blue Ridge, but also, you know, Union County, 
Gibbs, Pigeon Forge, Gatlinburg, Pittman, and Carter. I'm not mistaken of those five four-man playoffs last year. Um, you know, just what what do you what are you seeing? Do you think uh, how things going to go as far as the uh, outcome of games? Yeah, I'm gonna give you the coach's answer. We're week to week. All we're focusing <laughs> on Union County, August 22nd. Uh, you know, it is a challenging schedule, but you know that that's the way it's supposed to be. It's football, so um, we're, we're excited about competing against uh, each school on our schedule. Uh, you know, as a man, I think you ought to be excited about that challenge. And, you know, you want to you want to go out and play good quality opponents, and that's kind of what we've always done at Granger, and that's that's what we're going to continue to do. Uh, but uh, really, our focus is totally on August 22nd. It can't be on anything else. Since we're on the top of the schedule, Rangers in a unique situation from other teams in the conference. They don't have another team and the county as a rival. We'll start with the players. What team do you see as your biggest rival that's on the schedule? Well, I mean, you know, the first game's always going to be a big game. Always going to be excited about that. A little bit of rivalry there, but. Uh, but Gibbs has also been another another big rally we've always had, and uh, here in the past few years, you know, Claiborne County they've always been been a dog fight. That'll be another good good rivalry game. Last year we were uh, we uh, Claiborne County was beating us twenty, I think it was twenty one to nothing. We came back, I think it was four minutes in the fourth quarter, came back and it was twenty one twenty one. And, um, you know, Claiborne's going down, driving it down the field. And they had, uh, they had uh, me in there, and I jumped off sides and just really hurt us right there. And uh, right, that was uh, Claiborne. I'm looking forward to playing Claiborne County this year. I'm just looking forward to Union County first game of the season. I've, I've got one across the board. Uh, We've got three seniors here. Uh, this is your guys' final road as Grizzlies on the football field. Coaches talked about playing a lot of young guys. Uh, you take a look at the schedule and the tough games, you all being seniors, what's something you can tell these kids week after week? Keep buying in, keep playing no matter what. What's something you guys, being seniors, being leaders, what can you tell these younger guys to you know, keep playing? We've still got games to go. Hmm. <laughs> it's a day-to-day -day process, and that's the way you've got to handle it, and that's kind of what we tried to do, you know, uh, is day-to-day. -day. Just continue to get better. Uh, you're only given that day, and, you know, in, in, in football and in life, you need to take advantage of that day. So that's kind of the way we're going to operate at Granger High, and, and, and the kids are really bought into that day-to-day that -day process. So. That, that's that's kind of where we're at, and that's what we want to do.